similar ones. Now let's move on to uh, dating shortcuts or, or shortcuts on dates. So when I'm, uh, I'm gonna back into my invoice here. So here where it says invoice date, I'm going to zoom in here for a second. Let's say, for example, I wanted to go to the beginning of the year. What a lot of people do is they'll type 01 slash 01 2018, which took, what, you know, eight keystrokes. So what, one of the things that you can do is you can hit Y on the keyboard, just Y, not Control Y, not Alt Y, just Y. So if I hit Y, it's going to go to the beginning uh, of the year. If I hit R, it will go to the end of the year. And if I hit it a couple of times, so for example, if I hit Y, 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 it's going to go to the beginning of the year, previous year, previous year, and so forth. If I hit R, 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 it will go to the end of the year, and it will keep moving forward. So that's actually a really important one. But there's also a combination of dating shortcuts that work really well. So for example, T, think of the word today, will give you today's date. So T will give you today's date. If you want to do yesterday, um, you would do T and then the minus uh, key on the keyboard because minus goes down a day. So if I just keep hitting minus or plus, it goes up and down a day. So a lot of times you can you can think about um, you know going straight to a date. Let's say, for example, I wanted to go to April 3rd. So what would be, what would be the fastest way to go to April 3rd if today is June 14th? Well, what I would do is I would hit M a couple times, M for the beginning of the month. So M one, two, three, and then plus two times, one, two. See that? So once you do the, that combination, once you know the combination of shortcuts, you can get to dates uh, fairly quick. If you hit control down arrow, it will open up the, the calendar. So that's also an option. And then once you're in the calendar, you would just basically click left and right and pick the actual date uh, that you want. Now, the other really cool thing about it is I'm going to delete the date here, is that if I don't enter the year and I enter a four-digit date a month, QuickBooks will pre-fill the year for me. So, for example, let's say I wanted to do February 13th. I just need to do 0213. I don't even need to do the slashes. And then I hit tab, and it will pre-fill that year for me. So I think that's amazing. The other thing is if I want to do a full with a year, let's say I wanted to do October 15th, 2016, then I will do 101616, just like that. So no slashes, uh, not not for the year. I hit tab and it'll pre-fill that date for me. Once you master dating shortcuts, because every single transaction you do in QuickBooks involves dates, um, you are gonna be just you know extremely more productive. So these are the shortcuts that you wanna have on the screen. Just think of the word today, the word year, the word month, and the word week. And the first letter and the last letter will take you to that shortcut. And of course, remember you um, you remember the hitting the plus and the minus sign.